I am deeply grateful for TJ and Valida Rogers and Claude de Latac. A TJ Rogers really sums up the Maverick spirit. You'll hear that at Senate Quest. That's our theme from day one. He was the founder and CEO of Cypress Semiconductor. For 38 years, he led that company to greatness. Vision, quote unquote, what we're here for, really boils down to learning. And learning boils down to passion. Passion for learning and understanding. So how does a tech guy get in, into wine? I come to California to go to Stanford. I could have gone to several East Coast schools, but I love the Beach Boys, and I was quite sure that if I came to Stanford, I would see them, <coughs> and I would surf. Uh, there is a store in uh, Menlo Park called Beltramo, and a very knowledgeable Kirk said, buy some French wine, and I go, why would I do that? I, I go to Napa, and I go to Sonoma, I, why do I want to buy French wine? He said, try some French wine. So I did, and the very last bottle in that case was a uh, Clos Vougeau, Burgundy, Pinot Noir, and it was the best one I've ever had, still is. So I said we want to make the best Pinot Noir in the new world. And wine today is kind of like being in chips in the 1970s when everything was unknown and you're trying to get better. Every two years, things got four times better. And in wine, we're about to hit that curve. Have you ever gone to a movie and you have great expectations for the movie and it's crap, right? And it really pisses you off. I, I'm a data guy, I'm a math guy. A few years ago, I decided to catch them because I read in the newspaper, oh, this is a good movie, go see it. And I go and it wasn't good or vice versa. <clears throat> There'd be some movie starring somebody who's politically out. So if you go to Metacritic, it's a site that ranks movies on a 100-point scale. And Metacritic has 100 reviews of every movie. I decided to check them out, and my rule is simple. Lita and I go to a movie, and we never go to movies that are badly reviewed across the board. So then I kept track of them. I kept track of uh, 300 of them in 70 publications for 10 years. I read the Wall Street Journal every morning. I can tell you that the Wall Street Journal has screwed me 57 times. <laughs> 57 times I would go to a movie that's supposed to be good and it was garbage and, and, and then the reason I did this is so I could get even. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah.